had 176 young men and women leave O'Neill for Iraq in 2006. And uh, Jill Fox from Stewart called and said, I will give a dozen America. cookies if someone will pay the postage. And that's how it all got started. She, uh, a lady gave some so money for postage, true. and then somebody gave some more stuff to put in the box. And the this is what's resulted. We We've sold, sent over about 2,000 packages dreams. now. We've got plenty of things to and send, and we always need more. But uh, there's kind of a, an unusual story about this. A lady by the name of Ray Wilson, who gave cookies to the boys going through on the train. And then jukeboxes started, or care packages started with cookies. And then we started on March, the first Saturday in March, we started what we call Thank a Veterans Day. And so on that day, you think of some veteran you know and do something nice for them. And I decided it would be fun or nice to give everyone in the nursing home and Evergreen a cookie and a thank you note that was a veteran. So I took him up and gave him to him and, and the next day a man called and he'd gone up to see his dad and his dad showed him the letter and said to read it and he started to read it and then this man says, forget the letter, give me the cookie. So all three things have been started with a cookie. So our motto is going to be, who are you going to give your cookie to? Let me know. I'll be glad to let anyone help me that wants to. And uh, we just appreciate everything everyone does because people are so good. They leave all kinds of things. And, and a lot of people will say, well, this isn't very much. All the not very much is combined together. We sent, we're going to take 460 packages that have news. Uh, they have two magazines, a paperback book. They have, each one's got different. Then we've got a small package that we put in there that's whatever people have given us. So that was from the not very much. It was paid for, dear. Well, they were uh, uh, good support. Uh, morale of the troops. Uh, picked up the morale of the troops and uh, uh, they were greatly appreciated. But as long as the dream survives and the eagle flies proud and brave This will be America Long let her flag wave The Revolutionary War to the Civil War to the American Wars, World War One and Two, our Korean, Vietnam and now we're in Iraq and Australia, uh, in Afghanistan. If it wasn't for them, you kids wouldn't be able to walk down the street. You might be a prisoner in some prison camp. You might be doing slave labor. And it's because of all of the our people that are willing to sacrifice their lives that we get to be free. I hope that everybody realizes we're the only country where people fight, don't fight to get out. We have people fighting to get in here all the time, but we're the America's the best country we can have. And all those, those people that go, I just love them. I hope that maybe someone can enjoy some of these things. And I think it's wonderful, the ones that give it, because it makes you all feel that you're helping in some way. Let God.